So a project set up here with a piano loop, which sounds like this. And we want to add a drum part to it. I've already created a track over here with some drum sounds using resample -matic 5000 for a kick, snare, clap, and hi-hat, and a percussion sound as well. Of course, any MIDI drum source or MIDI drum machine or VST instrument drum plugin will work with this video. And I'm using a MIDI controller to trigger it, as you can see down here. For kick, snare, claps, hi-hat, and a percussion sound. But let's say I'm not very good at programming drums, so I don't want to play it as a performance. I want to put the notes in one by one or using step recording. So instead of going into record and trying to play it, we'll input them note by note. So I'll start by creating a new MIDI item. Hold on control on the PC, command on the Mac, and just draw in a MIDI item from bar one to bar three. Then we can double click it to open up the MIDI editor, which way we could turn on step recording. And this is what our MIDI editor looks like with our drum sounds over here. Now I set it up so this shows up as named notes, which is better for drums, instead of keyboard notes, which we can switch right here. And I'm also gonna change by right clicking over here to view, to piano roll notes, to use triangles or drum mode, instead of using rectangles, which is Reaper's default. This way our MIDI drum notes show up without any duration, as drum notes don't have a note length. So if we draw in a note, it looks like this. But we're not gonna draw in our notes, we're gonna use step recording, using our MIDI controller, which again, we could see down here. But let's turn on step recording, which we could do by right-clicking over here again, go to options, and turn on, use all MIDI inputs for step recording. If you don't have a MIDI controller, you could use the F keys. But we're gonna use this one, which we could also do it with the menu under options right over here. But the easiest way to do it is just to use our toolbar button right here, which looks like footsteps or steps. Just hit it to turn on step recording. So now, if we hit a key on our MIDI keyboard, the note's gonna show up over here based on where the cursor is placed. Right now it's on bar one, beat one. So I hit the kick, it puts a kick note right there. And then it moves the cursor over one step. But let's undo that. And let's adjust our grid to be a quarter note. And we'll keep it as straight instead of triplet, dotted or swing. And again, the note length doesn't matter for drums. So we could ignore this. So now with a quarter note grid, if I hit the kick, it inserts that kick note and the cursor jumps to the next quarter note, ready to input the next note. So we keep hitting the kick at any tempo we want. It's gonna input quarter note kick notes, which will sound like this. Hit the W key to go back to the beginning, and then we'll hit play. And we have a quarter note kick part. Let's undo that and start again, as I want to alternate the kick and snare with quarter notes. So back to the beginning by hitting W, hit a kick, and then a snare one by one at any tempo we want. And now we have a kick and snare part playing quarter notes. Now, if we want to undo or redo the notes, we just double click a note, which deletes the note and puts the cursor right there. Then we could play the note again, or just hit a different note, like a clap. And that inserts that note. Or just put our cursor where we want to insert a clap, like here. Let's go back to here, hit the snare to input that snare. We could also do this using the arrow keys. The left arrow to move left, and the right arrow to move right, based on the size of our grid. So if I wanted to redo this snare, I could just jump to it with the arrow keys, 
we just move our cursor in the ruler and inputting that snare. Let's do the same with a clap over here. Then I'm going to switch to eighth notes to add more notes to our kick. Right over here, I want to add a double kick. We can use the arrow keys to do the same thing. Hit the kick to insert that kick note. So now it sounds like this. Let's also add a clap over here as an upbeat and add a 16th note for our kick as an upbeat over here or a syncopated kick. And that sounds like this. Now let's create a hi-hat part. Let's turn this off for now. Now it's important to note that how hard we hit a MIDI controller is still gonna affect velocity in step recording. So if we hit it soft, it's quiet. And if we hit it hard, it's loud. So we'll put our cursor back at bar one and record the hi-hat part. But I wanna do it with eighth notes. And again, we can do it at any tempo we want, fast or slow. Turn back on, step record, and it will put in our notes. And that sounds like this. Now I want to add an open hat, which we could drag this note to it, or just double click to delete this one and hit the open hi-hat on a MIDI controller and it inputs that note. And to add some 16th notes to the hi-hat, just change this to 16th notes and place it where you want, either using the arrow keys, hit the hi-hat, or just putting a cursor at that spot. And another one here. Another one right here to add as many as we need. And we could also create a note repeat type effect, like using an MPC sequencer or drum machine and holding down the note repeat button but changing our grid to a much faster value, like 64th notes. Let's delete these two notes, put our cursor right here, hit the hi-hat to create this type of effect. Although we could do something similar by using paint notes or control on the PC, option command on the Mac, and just draw it in like this. But either way, this is a very useful technique if you're not used to programming drums in real time, and you don't want to have to draw in each note. You can still trigger each note with your MIDI keyboard without having to worry about the timing. You can just focus on the notes you want to play, step by step. So that's pretty much it. That's step recording MIDI drums in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys. Let's go. Oh!